Good day, student. I am Teacher Al Sabil Bakujo, and I am your teacher in science. And before we go into start in our discussion today, let's have first an opening prayer. Okay. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, their God, Lord and Father, bless us all today. Help us do right and to love one another. Send us your Holy Spirit that we will learn our lessons from. For the glory of your name, Amen. Good day, student. How are you? You may now take your seats. So before we're going to proceed to our discussion today, um, okay, um, I'm going to check your attendance first. Okay. Go. So everyone is present today. Good job, student. So, so our motivation for today is all about to sing the song about push and pull. It's about part of the post, the force and motion. So, let's get started. I am going to show you a video, a video, a short video. So this video is contained of the lyrics of the song. Okay, it entitled is Push or Pull. Let's get started. Pushes and pulls change how things move. Forces can go in different directions. Pushes and pulls can be strong or weak. Pushes and pulls change how things move. Forces can go in different directions. Pushes and pulls can be strong or weak. So when you push with force, things move away. They'll move back to you when you pull. Pushes and pulls change how things move. Forces can go in different directions. Pushes and pulls can be strong or weak. A force can change an object's motion. A stronger force makes bigger change. Pushes and pulls change how things move. Forces can go in different directions. Pushes and pulls can be strong or weak. Anyone can give me a recap about the discussion that we tackled yesterday? Yes, it's all about matter. Matter? Um, anyone can give me a definition of matter? Yes? Yes, it's all about anything that occupies space and has mass. How about atoms? Yes, the smallest particles. So, let's proceed to our discussion today. Are you ready, student? Good job. So now let's let's discuss about force and motion. So, this is push and pull, force and motion. Um, we are going to focus on the push and pull. So let's define first about force. Force can move object. Force can move object. How about motion? When an objective moves from place to place and call it motion. Very good. So, how about pull? Can you define what is pull? Everyone read. Yes, brings an object forward. How about push? Yes, it's moving and away from you. Moving and away from you. Okay? For example, Zen pushing the box forward. Zen pushing the box forward. Yes, Zen is pushing, pushing the box forward. Very good. So, in a, number two. Number two example. Lauren pulling the door open Lauren pulling the door open yes it's pulling the door open pulling the door Lauren is pulling the door okay another example more okay number three Lush push the cart inside the store Lush push the cart inside the store yes Glass is pushing the cart inside the store. Very good. So, 
Number four, lutch pulling the string of the re ribbon. Lutch pulling the string of the ribbon. So everyone is understand what I'm going to 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 tackle about. So I have an assessment test. So based from the generalization about this topic, um, what did you observe about the discussion? Yes, it's all about push and pull. And we were going to talk about pull is a brings an object forward. And we're going to talk about push and is moving and away from you. Okay? If we're going to talk about force, it force can be move object. <laughs> when an object move from place to place called motion. Very good. After we're going to proceed to your assessment and let's have play a game. Do you want a game, student? Okay. I have a different examples of pictures about push and pull. And the only thing you can do is to identify if either push or a pull. Okay? Are you excited? Let's start! Push or pull. Look at each picture. Check whether it is an example of a push or a pull. I will be giving you a 5 minutes to answer. Start! now having us assessment today this is will be the test I'm going to testing you if you really understand our topic for today are you ready I will give you a 10 minutes to answer this okay be the set B and the set A is I will be going to write in the video okay I forgot to put it but um, the, the only thing you can do is to write in your paper um, one to five and answer it to a five minutes. I will give it to you at five minutes to answer because this is very really um, easy, easy peasy. But it's a good thing you have to learn in my subject. Assignment, I will be giving to you um, a simple assignment also. It's called um, it's about um, yeah, it's a multiple choice. for listening to our discussion today i hope you have understand our topic that we tackled about today okay so this is be the, the end of our discussion so thank you for listening goodbye student see you to our next meeting